Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, I want to talk about the 60 million download campaign, which is the current thing going on in NA at the moment. It's going to be your best chance of getting uh, Erish, or Erish Coggle. Uh, I'm just going to call her Erish, <laughs> the blonde Rin, uh, for a long bit. So I kind of want to talk about that, and let's go. So let's get into it. So first things first. Um, this is the download before the one everyone's been waiting basically two years for. The 17 million download campaign is the one that will have, um, the free Selecta uh, SSR on it. Just to let you know, in case you're wondering, hey, how much longer do we have? Not much. There's only one more left. Uh, now what actually is inside this campaign? So let's look. The login bonus, which is nice, is 10 silver apples, 10 EXP, 10 gold, 10 million, 10 foe, 10 other foe. And 10 summon tickets. Seven days just for logging in. It's not bad. Uh, main interlude campaign is currently going on, which is for Merry Christmas and the Underworld quest. Uh, if you did not get your Attila Santa, get her now then. Or Altera the Santa, how they want to call her. Uh, pretty easy. I remember this event being very nice, and I think this is just a very easy way of doing this fight. You can see here ways that you can get your Attila to NP5, which I think is using rare mana prisms for the other yeah you have to exchange two to reach np5 not just two you need two for each copy so you'd need eight yeah that makes sense um and if you already have the most you can get then you won't be able to get any more and then you'll just kind of get one golden mana prism so it's really just for <laughs> this event is really just for people who just kind of want to re-experience that story and for the people who have completed this thing twice it's not really much for you here I should know because I was kind of like, oh, okay. So yeah, the main quest chapters 1 for 4, they're here and now, and then I think on the 16, we'll get chapter 5, and then yeah, pretty simple. And if you want to uh, be able to do it, you have to have cleared Babylonia. They realized at some point that they kind of screwed up because in order to really enjoy this Christmas event, you really have to know about her backstory and why she is the way she is, which is all done in Babylonia, so shouldn't be too hard to catch up to in time. But anyway... Some limited time master missions, these are very easy. Defeat 20 ghosts, recommended spot. Like, even the wiki's like, hey, just go to Septem Mount Enna. Defeat 20 earth enemies, go to Fuyuki mobile coordinates, point zero. Defeat 3 divine servants, Fuyuki unknown coordinates, XE. Defeat 3 king servants, Fuyuki mobile coordinates, point zero. Acquire 4 skill dreams, training grounds, daily quests, just in general. Clear free quests in the city, field 3 times, Fuyuki unknown coordinates, XE. Clear fear quest in the underground field three times. Fuyuki mobile coordinates point zero, and you're done here. And you'll get let's see, 100, 200, 300, 350, and one rare mana prism. Not bad. Uh, the mana prism shop updated. So the Grand Cavallo is here, where you get one percent max bond. Let me see what it's at the absolute tippy top. At the maximum bind, which is what you usually get for these CEs. Uh, you can get 5% bond points and Mystic Cody XP. Not the greatest, but if you're looking for a bond CE, go for it. I think there are better ones out there, but if you're someone who just doesn't have the rare mana prisms to currently get them, you can try getting this one. It's not the absolute best. I don't feel too bad if you only want one copy. At least that's what I feel like. I think I am going to get this fully done. I don't know why. I think I have a problem with me. But anyway... Next, some returning command codes. Lucky Beast heals 200 HP when attacking using the engraved card. Crest to Humanity, start generation 30% on the engraved card. 300, 300. Man, they're really going to make you pay. This is basically all you would get for the Master Missions if you want to get one of these two, but okay. Rare Prism Shop update. This is a great one. Uh, uh, Caldea Tea Time. Because uh, at max unbind, it increases bond points gained by 5%. But when you use it as a friend support, it's 15%. So this is the best one to put up on the friends list. Not the best one to use uh, for yourself. Because the one that's still the best one for North America is the one that gives 10%. But uh, for this right here, this part right here, perfectly good. Worth getting. I have it completely done. So follow my advice if you wish. And Armin of Victory, Star Absorption, plus 100% on the engraved card. Now, it will cost 1 to unlock the ability to buy more. It will still cost 1,000 Mana Prisms each, so you'll need 5,000. I'm pretty sure that's how it works out. Yeah. It can be, added, it can be later added back. Yeah, so it can be added back. 
and then you'll have the option to pay a thousand again. So, yeah, rough, rough pause. If you were going to choose between this one and this one, I would say go Caldea Tea Time, just because it can be used as a friend support. If you care about friend points. If you don't care about friend points, then I guess this one is technically better, but... Anyway, game updates, command code storage 150 to 200, plus 50. Animation update for Fion Mac come hail. Everyone's favorite boy. Look at this, trash boy. Absolutely wonderful. Bites his thumb. Love it. You'd love to see it. And now here's the piece de resistance. The Irish is basically last solo campaign for a year. Yeah. So things are going to get a little screwy here because the reason I say maybe a year is that it might change for North America. The reason is is that she doesn't return. So, so you can see here, this is when JP got her and then she has not had a solo banner since the Fake Grand Carnival second season Blu-ray and DVD release commem commemoration campaign, which was on October 12th, 2021. So it was a long ways away, long ways away. Um, and you can see here for them, they got her in 2020. So. Yeah, that's a long ways away for JP, but the problem is is that the way North America runs, we actually won't know when we're getting this campaign. Because in order to get this campaign, it's whenever the second Grand Carnival thing is released to us. So whenever something related to fake Grand Carnival, uh, either Blu-ray or whatever is released, or they just decide to give us the episode fully translated on something, um... When they decide to do that, that's when they're going to release this banner again. So I actually don't know if the date is actually October 2021. It could be later, it could be sooner, we don't know. I'd still say it'd probably take a year, but it's definitely one of those banners I feel like isn't set in stone so they could have it whenever they want it. As long as whenever they plan to release this, we're going to get this. <clears throat> but if you're someone who's like not waiting, you can see here. We don't get much for her, so this is you're going to be your last chance for, her, in theory, a while, because you'll basically be putting stuff up into the ether if you decide to wait for this one. And I want to say this banner is better. The reason this banner is kind of a little bit bad, not bad, it's a pretty good, um, okay. <clears throat> so, to explain, Fion is a good unit. He's memes that he's a bad unit. He's not bad, and especially with uh, Castoria coming out, he's about to have a whole bunch of buffs in terms of arts uh, stuff. The problem is, is that he is a man, and he is a lancer, and most people are going to be summoned for the woman who is a lancer, who is a five. So if you see a gold, if you see a golden lance, does not mean you're going to get Erish. It means you might get Fion instead. So that's why this banner is a little bit like, I don't know about summoning on it. But if you look at it over here, this banner, I think it's only hers. I think she, only she's on it. Yeah, she's the only one on it. So it'd be, in theory, a great way of getting her. The problem is you'd have to wait a very long time to do it. Very long time for her, because again, we don't know when it could potentially be had. So you're going to just have to leave luck up to the gods at that point. But if you can try getting her now, I say good luck and I wish you the best for it. Uh, I've failed every single time, and the last time I tried for Erish, uh, she almost completely made me stop uploading videos about Fate Grand Order on the channel. It was really bad. You can still see that some of my video if you want. It was bad. It was not a good time. It hurt a lot, and I almost just said quit. I j almost quit the game entirely over it. Recording the game, I would have played solo myself. It was pretty bad, but yeah, if you want her, because everyone loves a good old Rin face, and if you don't like her, then you must be one of the very few people who don't. Because if, if she wasn't well-liked, we wouldn't constantly get banners with Ishtar and Erish in it. But anyway, yeah, that's basically it for this campaign. And it's going to be a pretty relaxed week, basically. Yeah, some of the stuff that might be coming up in the future. White Day, the Kadea Boys collection, and then the, the lead-up to the next uh, Lost Belt. That's basically it for, uh, for this month, which is halfway done. We'll see how it kind of goes there. We don't know if there's going to be anything else. I think this event lasts until the 26th. 23rd. So their chances are is going to be something on the 23rd or maybe somewhere around the 22nd. We'll have to just wait and see. But yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It helps the channel a whole bunch. Keeps me motivated. Keep me doing stuff. And you can subscribe to me if you want some more video stuff featuring me. I do a whole bunch of other stuff. But uh, that's it. 
yeah, that's it. Good luck to anyone summoned out there. I wish you all the absolute best, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>